Hi, it's Buck again at Bacon Trees. Uh, thanks for dropping by and tuning in. I wanted to answer a couple of questions that I had on uh, one of my videos, how to equalize, how to ring out a sound system. And they're great questions, and I'm sorry, I actually missed these somehow. I didn't get the notification, and I noticed one was one month ago and one was eight months ago. Sorry about that, so I just noticed them. I'm going to answer them now, and I, I will also answer them on the, the channel itself, or on the page for the video itself. From Emiliano Echeverria, if I'm pronouncing that right, that was one month ago. Hey man, so I need to know whether if I have my EQ, what do I do with it? Do I ring out feedback frequencies or do I try to get set up as flat as a response as I can in my house of worship, both front of house and stage monitors or stage wedges? Um, okay, so with the EQ, do you ring out feedback frequencies or try to set a flat response? Get rid of feedback, number one, because nobody wants to hear it, okay? So as you turn the sound system up, certain frequencies are going to feed back. Dip them down, not too much. Don't cut them completely. Take them out, I don't know, I'd say start off with four to six decibels of cut and see if it works. Turn the sound system up a bit more. If it feeds back at the same frequencies, just stop and go back where you were. But uh, it usually is not an issue. I, I usually deal with maybe half a dozen feedback frequencies in the upper mids, maybe some highs and maybe some lows. The second thing I would do is make the vocal sound good. Now, not just my voice, but what I would do is put a spoken word CD or a spoken word um, something maybe on YouTube and just plug it into the sound system. If it's recorded nicely and properly, you should be able to use that spoken word CD or uh, audio file to further tune the sound system because you might not trust your own voice, which is fair enough. And my voice is not like anybody else's voice. It might be similar to people's, but some people have really low voices and some people have nasally voices. So yes, I mean, you can only go so far with your own voice. But I also use a reference CD of a piece of music that's well produced. I choose techno because it always works for me. Uh, it's got really tight bass and not too much of it, the tracks that I use anyway. And I know how it sounds on every different system, so I use maybe three, four, five different tracks of music. And when my voice sounds good and the music sounds good and it doesn't feed back, I'm done. I leave it. I establish the loudest setting though to make sure I've got the loudest possible setting to make it sound good. Um, now, if you can use pink noise and do a real-time analysis to flatten the system, but you know you still want to double check what a, a decent quality microphone like an SM58 sounds like through that. So if I've got the SM58, uh, and I'm, if that's what people are singing through, that's the microphone I'm going to use to make sure the vocals, because I take a vocal-based approach to this, right? And then I make sure the voice sounds great through the sound system. Most often I have some sort of high pass filter, maybe at 80 hertz, maybe at 60 hertz, with, um, I don't know, a nice slope to it, not too harsh a slope and not too flat a slope, just, I don't know, a second order slope or something like that, which is like 12 dB per octave um, going down, something like that. And if I need more oomph from the bass drum and bass guitar, I simply just use the channel strips and I give them a little bit of boost on their own channel, but not the entire system. So the entire system is equalized based on what the SM58 sounds like with a lead vocal. If the lead vocal is going to use like a beta 50, sorry, a beta 87, which is a condenser microphone and it's got different properties than the 58, well, I have a choice now. If it's a showcase where somebody's doing like a, a CD release party or something like that, I'm going to ring out the system based on the lead vocal, based on the SM87. But if there's multiple acts in a show, I'm going to ring out the sound system and tune it with the SM58. And if one singer is using a Beta 87, I'm going to tune that on the actual channel strip itself and not the main EQ. So you have choices. Uh, that's my approach and uh, it's, it's always worked. It's worked very well. And I, I really need the vocals to come out uh, up front and center to sound great in the sound system. And that method always gets that happening. 